Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys, hopefully in a shorter video, uh, a pretty cool device, uh, a pretty cool accessory to your firearm. Now, I, if you guys have been watching me, you guys know I've been picking up some more firearms. I'm an avid shooter. I do enjoy uh, uh, anything firearm related. And I picked up this bad boy right here. This is Typhoon's Tactical AR-12 style 12-gauge um, assault rifle. This is the Typhoon X2. Check out my video I did on this. Again, remember my videos on firearms are not uh, expert reviews. I'm not a professional shooter. You know, I'm not uh, in the military or anything like that. But I just, you know, I, I review these products kind of as a hobbyist, as a novice, and uh, maybe I'll help somebody out, make a decision, buy something. So, or share a product, maybe introduce you guys to something uh, you've never really experienced before or got into. So, uh, check that out. So, uh, the product I want to share with you guys today, though, <clears throat> is a tactical um, over the shoulder. Uh, scabbard basically I got for any of my guns so uh, I've seen these for a while you can get them from a couple different manufacturers this one here is your Amazon or eBay special now they are they do have better ones out there and keep in mind a lot of this stuff gets advertised like airsoft products but remember ultimately the materials in this stuff this is do I recommend you go taking this if you are involved in a law enforcement position or something that's uh, where reliability is more important probably not right but if you're just a novice like myself and you just want to be able to you know, carry this up somewhere or take it with you and just be able to carry it with ease, I definitely recommend it. Now, I don't know how long it's going to last. For 20 bucks, it's really incredible. Um, it's made of like a nice, uh, I'd say like canvas type material. Uh, very nice nylon straps. Um, I mean, the thing just looks fantastic for the price. Now, I will say I did see the NC Star version of this. And they're about $40, and from what I can tell, again, depending on where you buy, you have to be careful with a lot of different sellers because some will advertise these as, you know, different prices. Um, I can tell you that the NC Star one that I saw was quite a bit thicker, okay, and just definitely held its shape better. This is more like a backpack, right? It's kind of loose, kind of flops around, but it works. Uh, so you have some molly straps right in the front here. You can attach different, uh, you know, anything molly related. And basically a molly, if you don't know, a molly strap basically uh, replaces like Alice clips they used to use uh, back in the day. Uh, it's just a way to attach different things to different I, different gear items, right? So backpacks have them. Um, I have one of these packs for a couple magazine holders on my backpack. Um, they basically have a couple snaps on the back. So this one here is just a triple magazine case I got for three uh, handgun magazines and of course three uh, AR-15 style magazines or assault rifle magazines. Uh, unfortunately, I got this thinking they were going to fit my AR-12, my new, brand new shotguns magazines, but they're just too small. So I'll find something down the road. Cool thing about it, they just easily snap on and you can put gear all around them. Throw a canteen on it, throw a magazine holder, a second pouch. There's all kinds of stuff all over eBay, Amazon, Wish. Uh, the sky's the limit for you to really customize your bag. So. Um, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you have a couple different eyelets on the back. You can connect the sling to the top or uh, the side. Uh, you have a handle that you can move around if you want with snaps across the molly system. Uh, you have another two eyelets on the top, on the back, and of course on the side. You have a, uh, a buckle so you can strap your gun in. I'm going to show you how this works. And I think for the price, it's fantastic. But uh, just something to know, I was a little disappointed at how it fit. But again, for 20 bucks, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, you do have the ability to make this smaller, uh, so you can basically fold up the bottom and it has a buckle, you can snap this closed. I was expecting that this would fit exactly like the picture. Unfortunately, this would fit an AR style pistol the best. Uh, when you got the rifle, it's a little bit short. But let me just show you how it fits the AR-12 and I'll give you guys um, you know, my two cents on this. So basically just slide this in like any other bag. And it's going to give you an element of protection, you know. So, let me just show you guys here what I, and again, this is, you know, it's not custom made for this device, but you have your buckle, and hopefully you guys can see this here. And so this one here is technically designed to go behind the magazine. What I don't like about it is that there's no adjustment. So basically, you're just going to snap that, and it's just going to flop around. Um, it is stitched to the bag, so you can, it's not like you can go ahead and get a shorter one on here. Ultimately, though, it's going to hold the gun in there. It's 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 uh, short enough that it still catches the magazine. If you didn't have the magazine in here, um, you know, it's definitely not going to hold the rifle in place as well. Uh, then you have the other buckle, and this buckle here, you can move around the molly strap. Although it's not long enough 
to really move it around where I'd like to move it. So what I did is I just added another uh, one of the molly straps, the buckles, to the other buckle. It doesn't lay flat. It's got kind of a twist in it, but it allows me to still connect it or buckle it like so and then pull it a little bit tighter to lock this in. I'll show you guys here. That's a little bit awkward doing this on camera here, but whoops. Let me just debuckle this here, or unbuckle this. Get this a little tighter. And I've tried my AR-15 this, and this gun, it fits, but it doesn't fit as well as I would have hoped. Now this, in this case, because this is a different gun than my AR-15, I'd probably remove this extra extension here. And I just pulled this off one of the extra straps it gave you, but uh, this basically will lock around here. And you'll just have to kind of play with it depending on what gun. It is universal, but um, it's not the kind of thing that you're gonna set it and forget it. You're gonna have to kind of size it for your weapon. Uh, so once it's in there, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's gonna protect the gun. Again, you can see that you pretty much have to have the extension folded out, otherwise these rifles wouldn't fit. This got an 18 inch, 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, my AR also has an 18 inch barrel, and you pretty much have to have that extended. Um, another thing I don't like is that your your, uh, your buckle here just kind of flops around. So not, not a huge deal, but just, you know, we're kind of nitpicking here, but uh, what do you want for 20 bucks? It's pretty cheap. Um, other downside, my, real, my biggest complaint about this is once you have the firearm in here, and you put this on your back or over your shoulder, the firearm wants to pull sideways. So what I do to help counteract that, and I think if they ever redesign these or see a video like this, they should add something to the top here to wrap behind the handle. So what I do is I basically just take one of the included straps I gave you, and I will actually take that and just, I have a carabiner on here I got from the Dollar Tree, and I basically just wrap this right around the back of the gun. And so what this will do is when you, when you grab the strap, it's going to pull the bag, but also pull the gun tighter to the strap, more like a sling. So it's not going to flop around as much, and you can very easily throw this across your shoulder or across your back. And again, this is a pretty large gun. Um, you know, if you have like an AR-15 adjustable stock, you can shorten it down. If you have like a, uh, like a shotgun pistol or like a, like a, a uh, like a riot grip handle on it, it's gonna fit in a bag like this better. But if you tighten it up, strap it to your back, and just kind of play with it, and just know that this isn't gonna be something you can throw in here and have a perfect fit. Uh, if you're not afraid to throw some straps on it and buckle things down, you'll get an element of protection uh, and still kind of a convenient way to carry your gun. Um, always check stuff like this. You know, you don't wanna, remember this is inexpensive gear here, so you wanna always check these buckles and straps. If you do use this often and carry this around, um, I hate for somebody to be carrying this and have something fail and uh, drop your gun on the ground, right? We, As much as we want to use these things and they're made to use, we don't want to add any scratches to them. So just kind of keep that in mind. Very easy way. Just that you can even add a better strap if you had to. Um, like I said, in this case, if you want to be even more secure, you might even want to clip this to the carabiner. Uh, and these are kind of large, inexpensive carabiners, but you can get really small metal ones that are much more durable. And I think that if you are going to be doing any kind of hiking and camping and carrying something like this, um, I think having it, if you're not looking for something that's going to be... Uh, you know, super accessible. It's more for the purpose of just carrying it and protecting it. Um, it's pretty easy just to take some of these. You can see they give you a couple extra straps, these molly straps. Wrap them around, kind of make sure you tighten this up here so it's not flopping around uh, and you're not actually going to lose the gun. The cool thing about this, if you do it like I did it here and this is wrapped around the stock, if something fails here, you're still going to be holding on to the gun from the butt stock. So you're not going to drop it. It's not going to fall off your back, right? So still though, overall, um, I would check out if you're looking at maybe picking up one of these, the NC, I'll put links in the description to both devices where you can see the NC Star one. I saw the NC Star style one at a local pawn shop and it's much thicker material, but you're looking at 40, 50 bucks for it. This, I mean, super cheap. And I think for what it is, it's really a fantastic value. Um, for $19.99, it's going to give you an element of protection. Again, don't you know? Don't think it's just going to. Oh, I need something to really protect my gun. Then you don't buy this. This is just a really convenient way, uh, you know, to throw it in here and throw it across your back. What I've also done with this, and I tested this with my AR. I took one of my backpacks that has a lot of the Molly straps on the side, and I basically just strapped this gun case or this scabbard right to the side of my, my uh, backpack. And I went ahead and threw it on in one unit, and I'll tell you, it was fantastic. And if it's something that I, you know, if I'm going to bring my AR camping or something or a shorter rifle, um, 
I will definitely use that. It fit the gun perfectly. I was able to strap to my bag. It was on there. It wasn't going to fall off. And it's a great addition if you have a backpack uh, and just want to have a way to carry a firearm with you. That's a rifle. Um, I think this would be really great if you have, again, a shotgun uh, for defense and you're going to go camping. You're going to you know, go in, into the woods somewhere and you have kind of a shorter, uh, whether it be a short rifle if you're you know, allowed to carry um, like, a, a, you know, like a short barrel rifle. Or some of your AR pistols, or uh, or even um, like I said, your riot grip, your trigger or your trigger hand grip style pump shotguns you can get. Uh, a bull pump would fit perfect in this. Uh, this would be fantastic. It wouldn't take up a lot of room. Obviously, if you go throwing this on the side of your bag and you're going hiking or camping and bringing this, it is a large gun to carry like that. But um, it still gives you an option if you need to, to carry your weapon with you. So uh, check it out, guys. Just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm happy with it for 20 bucks. Uh, you know, if it was 100 bucks or, you know, or 50, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But for 20 bucks, it definitely serves a purpose. I'll probably get a, uh, a camo one as well. They make several different colors. The black's always safe, but uh, I'll probably pick one up in the digital camo and mount it to one of my new digital camo bags as well. So a uh, pretty cool device. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to help. I don't, I'm not really sure if I can answer um, a lot of questions about it because it's pretty basic. There's not a lot you could possibly ask me. Uh, does it work or doesn't? And it does. So, uh, But the link is in the description regardless. Uh, and I'm always here to help. So fire away. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Select the content. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down whether you yay or nay the content. And uh, as always, guys, have a great weekend. Be safe out there and take care.